Whew, hey, what is up, YouTube? Um, this one's kind of coming out of the blue because I this this one I've been dying to work on for like the last four, five, six, seven years maybe. Uh, I think uh, I have another video that I think I might may have posted before this one, but uh, if not, I will reiterate. This model kit I bought over at a small little mom and pop. Actually, I think probably the last mom and pop hobby shop here in San Antonio, uh, Dibbles. And they had two of them at the time, that, and, and Mike over there at, at... Man, I hate to say it, but I think his name is Hunt. <laughs> uh, if you put that name together, you know what you get, but... Uh, <laughs> anyway, Mr. Hunt over there... <laughs> Excuse me. Cracks me up every time. But anyway, Mr. Hunt over there was trying to get me to buy both of them. But I couldn't. You know, so... Uh, I think I paid about 16, 17 bucks for that. Which is uh, pretty much, I, I found out later on, is a steal on eBay. So, uh, anyway. So what I've done here so far uh, with this one is I've given this a coat of ice blue down here. And I know... Uh, the color is supposed to be uh, just pretty much a silver, but I wanted to see what it would look like with this ice blue. And it's very pale. It's pale enough to, to see that actually this is silver right here. This is the pale blue. So you see the slight variance of it. Of it. And you also see some of my imperfections here on some of my paint. And... Um, Pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much display this one at an angle so that you don't see how uneven it is and some of my uh, of my sanding mistakes like where I didn't see it until I started painting. It's on this, this, this area so I think I may go back and do it anyway but there's a little bit of a lip from the, from the, god what is it called, Mr. Surfacer on there. So that and I think think there's a couple of other issues here and there yeah here where I need to go back and touch up that spot but uh, everything was as you can see I tried to keep the brush strokes as minimal as possible and there's still a couple of imperfections there I can sand that one out right before I put the yellow on but uh, it was a little tough getting getting these together these uh, are Oh man, geez, it's a little... I knew this already, I'm sorry. I'm lamenting. Uh, and I've got Chicago in the back, so... I may break out into song in a second. But, uh, I'm a little asymmetrical here, but... I... I don't know. I don't know, can you guys tell? Uh, but, uh, that said, I'm kind of pleased with what I'm working on so far. Uh, the big, the big test, of course, is, is going to be when I start laying out this yellow. I don't know how well that's going to go, so I'm hoping, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to put these little bubble domes here down just to get those in place so I can see exactly where I'm going to need to, to hit my, my mark on this yellow paint because I don't want them overlapping. So, uh, anyway guys, uh, more on this one. This is, uh one of my bench clearing updates on a project that has been sitting up in my up in my shelf for the longest time. I just brought it in earlier this year from the garage and uh, this right here was uh, I know it's supposed to be clear but this was supplied by, by the manufacturer it was already molded in silver so what I did was I just gave it a quick shot of some metallic silver paint again just to give it a little bit more of a little brilliance uh, and after that what I did was I went back over and I just gave it a good wash subtractive wash of Vallejo's uh, gunmetal gray so that brings it down that also highlights low lights are there uh, it's not uh, it's not very dull uh, I know it's supposed to look clear so Hopefully, oh god, Sophie, sorry girl. Uh, my dogs are getting older, and uh, I need to take Sophie to the vet. 
<laughs> if you can't hear that on, on camera. But uh, anyway, guys, I, I need to cut this short because I am going to have to go give her some medication right now. Uh, I'm going to hit these with some gunmetal gray. And actually, the inside here are going to be painted out gunmetal gray. These l little areas here, which are, I didn't me mention before, these are toothpaste caps. Uh, th uh, this whole area was hollow. And you could actually see in, out, but, but anyway. Uh, I just added a piece of cardboard inside. Well, glued the, uh, the toothpaste caps in there. And then just put a little piece of cardboard over that. Just to give it the semblance of a, I don't know. What do you call that? An engine chute? But, uh, <laughs> I have no idea. But, uh, one more coat here on gunmetal. And uh, I need to glue this guy in now. Clean up some of my paint here and there. I'm going to add the... I think I'm going to add a, the same color here as some pinstriping here up on top. Uh, hopefully I'll get this yellow down pretty soon. Uh, actually, is that the same? Yep. Turns out at some point I bought two yellows. So, uh have enough. I can paint the hell out of this thing. So, um... Anyway, guys, uh, more on the Stingray later on. Oh, one more, one more thing, one more thing. I see even on the box there's some pinstriping underneath the uh, the the viewports, and I was gonna, I was brainstorming how I was gonna do it, and when I came to look at the model, I realized that the viewports here on the model kit itself are too large, so I don't have to worry about that at all. So, uh, anyway, guys, uh, it's a shame that no one has made another kit that is a little more accurate to what, what you see on screen without heavy modding. Oh, let me show you the bottom because I'm still actually lining this one out. Again, ow, again I'm uh, hand brushing everything. So, I've got, I'm using a few uh, red sable brushes, and you can see my putty work is not really up to par on the bottom when I started working on this. I didn't go back and do it, uh, but I have a couple of more coats here to even out the bottom here. And I'm going to let that sit for another few hours before I try doing the yellow on the top. So, uh, got it. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. Have fun. Peace out. Uh, keep on working on, on, on your bench. Uh, hope, hope, uh, anyway, I'm going to ramble on. So, anyway, guys, late. <laughs>